Welcome back to All Things Nelly. Or Nelly. You can call me either one. My family calls me Nelly. They do. So, let's get into... Let me get comfortable in my chair, y'all. This is a big chair. Let me get comfortable in it. Okay. Let's get into America's Next Top Model. Now, I didn't intend to do a review for this show, but I was sitting there doing my hair. And I accidentally got into it. You know how you accidentally watching some because you it's on it, it come on after you watching some and you don't intend to watch it, but you end up watching it. That's what happened to me. So anyway, this is season twenty four, episode one, the Greystone Mansion. It's where they gonna be living. And the title of this show is The Boss is Back. Hashtag Next Level Fierce. So, one of the things that I liked out of the gate is that she removed the age limit. And in removing the age limit, she got several women that's in their 40s and their 30s. And I hope them are the women that, that win, okay? So, let's get on down to who made the cuts. So, we got Brenda K. She's 22. We got Christy, Christina. She a little afflicted. She the one... Christina, the one that kind of got a little smart at the mouth with the judge, it was like, I'm a model. <laughs> that they was taken aback by. She's 34. We got, is it Cura? Of course, it's C O U R A. Cura, Cura. I don't know how to say the good name. She's 24. Aaron is 42. Aaron, honey. When, we, let me. Erin, when she was had packed her bags to leave the house, and Tara went up there and gave her her picture, when I tell you I cried like a doggone baby, I was boohooing with Erin. I said, Erin, but not bloated because she had me crying, had my nose all stopped up. Okay, so then I like Ivana. I need Ivana to own it. She is like. To me, barely plus size. She stacked like a brick house. But see, she been told so much about how she look or whatever. It's got her so self confident that she be second guessing it. I want she here now, so I want her to own it and kill it. We got Gina. She's twenty four. Christiana is thirty two. Kyla is 20. We got Liberty. She's 20. We got Liz. Liz is the flick. The one, the one they asked. Did she have that flask in her bra? Came out there with that hair over her ass like, like a shaggy dog. <laughs> they, they thought she been drinking. That was Liz. They got Maggie. Maggie is the one talking about she white. What, what she called herself? White homegirl or something like that. But I write it down. Let me see. But yeah, she yeah, she got herself the white home girl. I'm just gonna drop that right there. I'll let y'all ponder that one. And then we got Ryan, Rio. Who else we got? That ain't all. It was it started out with 15. Sandra and Shanice. So she got some good contestants this season. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I probably had, I'm going to tell y'all the last two seasons of this show I watched, the one with Takara on it and the one with that evil one on it. It's the last two seasons of this show that I watched. I hadn't watched the season since then. Hadn't felt the need to. So now let me get into why I ended up doing this review. I, one reason I got into doing this review because Tammy Roman daughter Lyrica was one of the people that didn't make it. People are all over social media going on about how wrong they did Lyrica. That they did Lyrica so wrong. They had this girl upset and crying like the judges drug her and, and did her bad on the, on the episode of the show because it was cut and edited. Because, you know, they went on, they talked about stuff. Lyrica said they talked about stuff in depth or what have you about all this kind of stuff. Let me tell you, they did not drag that girl whatsoever. Lyrica, sweetie. Let Mama Nell tell you about this. Don't listen to what everybody say on social media. You need to go see stuff for yourself. Because them judges did not drag you. What they said was, you was very beautiful. But you were meant to be somebody 
better and bigger than a than a model. That's what I heard. Now you you need to learn. Black folks don't be listening. They don't be paying attention, honey. Trust me, I know. Cause when I do my hair tutorials, they come to be trying to get me together and get me told I ain't read now description and I ain't watched now video from beginning to end. But yet they got some smart mouth comments. So let me tell you, don't listen to what everybody be saying when they be coming because they come. They said that you were meant to be an actress. You were way higher up than a model. That's what they said. I don't know why people was telling you they just cut you, didn't give you no chance, nothing like that. And they said out of their mouth that you was higher and you was better than a model. Them people didn't say nothing bad about you. And you, and before you got on social media or whatever, commenting and saying anything, you should have went and watched the show for yourself. That's what you should have done. Because you can't go off what people say all the time. Because people not always right. People don't always have your best interest at heart. Because you listen to a bunch of folks that didn't that wasn't honest with you, that lied to you. But anyway, they did their first photo shoot, model some ugly clothes like only they do on America's next top model. She sent three of them home. I think it was the girl that was the box of chick. And I can't remember the two other ones. So anyway, so anyway, the ones that made it to the house, to you know, to the house or whatever, get to go on to the next round. So that was pretty much where all of, all of the first episode or what what have you or whatever. It was good. I liked it. I like seeing that, you know, the first round is always the best when you see who make it. Now, to me, they didn't go as in-depth with how they used to do when I first watched it, like when Eva and Takara, those seasons, because they didn't show, to me, like the rounds like they used to. So, that's all of season, uh, episode one of season 24. Let's go on, and I'll just end this review and get into episode two.